How's it going YouTube? Today I got the, the Ganzo Knife FH71. Best budget brand, under 30 bucks in my opinion, for sure. And uh, yeah, stick around, check it out. Got several budget knife videos coming up. Sure. Alright, let's check out the box. F there we go. FH71-GB. If you bought a Ganzo before, it's all the same. You get a cool little bag. And it off comes wrapped pretty good. So yeah, let's get on to the important stuff. The knife. Here we are. What's incredible about this knife is the price. You can find them anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. And usually when you buy a twenty to thirty dollar knife, you regret it. But not with this. Ganzo makes a, a really good product for the money. Um, yeah, let's go over the specs. A 3.4 inch D2 blade. I know you're thinking, oh, D2, but for 20 to $30, it is what it is. And they got a consistent heat treat. Um, this is, this Ganzo has sadly beat a lot of expensive knives and cut test. Um, satin finish. And uh, I'd call this a worn cliff. You could probably call it a sheep's foot or whatever you want, but you got a flat grind, pretty thin behind the edge. Fingerprint, fingerprint magnet. You got a blade stock of 3.3 millimeters, 0.13, and let's check out the edge. I'd say it's a little bit on the plus side of factory sharpness, but definitely not in the super slicer category. Got an overall length of 7.8 inches, so I'd call it full size, close to it. Let's compare it to some other Ganzos. FH924, this one's a small one, but probably my favorite. FH41S, another smaller one. I don't have a lot of really good comparisons in this price range. Sorry. FH61. This one's pretty unique. And my last one I got. FH921. I've already used this one a ton. It's like my daily package opener. Pretty close to the same length. It's the 71. Yeah, I'd say it's right dead even. And here's two knives that aren't Ganzo. Not really the same size, but they're cheaper. QSP Penguin. Boss Dude Raccoon. Raccoon's close, still smaller, but yeah. Surely you got one of these knives to know. You got a 4.4 inch handle. 0.53 inches wide and the closed width in the pockets 1.3 inches. Get T6 on your body screws and your clip. T8 on the pivot. Weight is 3.4 ounces. A little bit of weight relief on the inside. And you got a deep carry clip. Looks like it's satin. Maybe like polished looking. Semi deep carry. Clips inset. They got mushroom screws. But it does its job. And here's the cool part. You got contoured green G10. Some nice little design aspect going on. Contour G10. How about that for the price? Not only that, but you got inset liners. 
Can't even get that on $75 and off half the time. I mean, they're doing it for $30, $23. That's crazy. And as you see, it's a liner lock. Got pretty good access, pretty good action. And your deployment options, just this flipper tab, basically. Pretty good detent for it. Not really strong. And this hole's kind of disappointing. Originally bought it because I thought you could reverse flick it. But no, you can kind of thumb flick it. It's not very comfortable. Do have a lanyard hole and a backspacer. Backspacer on the third, not this price. And you can't even get that on a Civivia. It's like seventy, hundred dollars. Crazy. Got a little bit of a sharpening troll. Does look like you can get a few sharpenings out of it. Your blade does have the logo. A little bit on the back, so not the cleanest. But yeah, can't expect too much. Dislikes on this knife. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed as the holes just for aesthetics. I'd love to reverse flick it. Like this one. This one. Even this one. Yep, love me a reverse flicker. And uh, the clip isn't the most comfortable, especially if you got a good grip on it. That clip digs in because it sticks out so far. I mean, if they would find a different cheap clip to use, that'd be awesome. Yeah. That's about it, though. Really good knife, come with a decent edge. Not the sharpest one I've had out of the box, but still really solid. Beats a lot of knives in its price category. Now it lasts a lot of knives in its um, way beyond its price category. So yeah, um, this wasn't on, in stock on Amazon, but it's out there other places. Just gotta look for it. I'll try to link it somewhere. Uh, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram. It's linked down below. And give me a like or comment. And see you in the next one.